gonna start with his face, everybody. That's right. Frosty's just a bunch of circles, really, isn't he? We'll start with his head. Semicircles on either side. There we go. And now he can draw his hat brim. That's where we're gonna put his old magic hat. Now semicircle the brim up like that. There we go. And connect it on the other side. Now leave a spot because we're gonna put a nice flower in there. One, two, three, four, five, and six petals. There we go. Now we'll make the middle part of the flower. Perfect. And now we can continue with Frosty around his body area. So we're gonna swing that up and this is gonna be his arm on one side and his other arm on the other side. There we go. And now we're gonna draw Frosty's hand that's holding the broom. So make a big circle like that and that will represent the fingers coming around. There we go. Three fingers for Frosty. A little area so that he can manipulate his hand up and he's holding a pipe. So this is a little tricky here with some semicircles around and the pipe itself being made here. Just a lot of curvy lines to be quite honest. And a circle in the middle there for the opening of the pipe. And then we can draw his fingers here that are holding the pipe. There we go. Frosty's got those three fingers. And now we're gonna connect that around to the base of his wrist. There we go. Now we can continue his arm down where his elbow meets his body. There we are, that's nice. Now let's do the broom handle up there. There we go. The end of the broom handle just before the bristles of the broom. Here we go now. This is gonna look good. Semicircles again coming up. Bring them up on both sides so they're equal as you can make them line across the strap that's holding those bristles in and now we're gonna come up one two and let's make them all jaggedy like to make a cartoon type broom very nice i like that there we go perfect now why don't we continue his hat since we're up here right on up there one line there right where his head would be coming up out of the flower area and semicircle that up in a curve around again lovely now we can't forget the band on the hat there we go frosty's coming together now what we'll do is join this hand and bring it down to the broom handle there we go all the way down and now we can end the broom there lovely all right bring his arm in and we'll connect it to his body now this is going to be good there's big tummy there we go round it out as an eggshell almost i like it and now from here we can make his legs one two legs perfect and his feet one all the way around and two there we go i like it and up connecting to the middle of his body here bottom out lovely 
now we can go and make his face. So let's draw his eyes in here. They kind of curve out like a C like that on that side and opposite on the other side, backwards C. And we'll join them together with a big button nose. Just a circle if you can, I like that. And we'll make his pupils within those eyes. Ah, and even color them in if you like. I like to color in the black with a little highlight there. It's lovely. The highlight gives him a little bit of life. That's what I like. And now we can continue with a big old smile and a little bit of a happy-go-lucky time for old Frosty here. And maybe a mouth open and a little bit of a tongue. That'd be nice. There we go. His chin. I like that. And now maybe a little finishing off of the pipe here. There we go. A little decoration here and maybe some circles in there. Lovely. Now we can do the color. Gray for his old hat. I like it. Red for his button nose and tongue. And for the flower on his hat, pink. And for the broom, yellow. And on the pipe. And brown for the broomstick and inside pipe. Blue for the middle of his flower. And black for his hat band and mouth. Lovely. Lovely.